And they went from a couple of years of drought to getting a lot of rainfall so far this year. There's a line of strong thunderstorms that has now pushed east of Dallas, and you can just see that heavy rainfall in eastern Oklahoma and central, north central Texas at this hour. And, well, that's a storm system that's not going to be in a rush to get here. We're actually stuck in a pattern that's slowly going to become more summer like. Yeah, there's a couple of isolated showers in uh, northeastern Ohio, but nothing really coming our way in the near future, and it's going to start to feel like summer. This morning was still comfortable. Low temperatures were in the 50s. Uh, then we warmed up very quickly. Here's a chart of temperatures in Altoona, and yes, we touched the mid 80s, which is a warm day for July standards, let alone here in the last part of May. Dew point temperatures up a bit. Yesterday they were in the 30s and 40s. Today we're back into the 50s, and we're going to see that comfort index slowly get more toward that oppressive side as the humidity increases over the next couple of days, and along with that, the chance for rainfall will increase. Next couple of days, spotty downpours. Whereas today, there was nothing around. Here's the view with the Skynet in Bedford. Some hazy sunshine as the humidity increases. The haze increases a little bit, too. View with our Fury Buick GMC Skynet in Altoona. Our current temperature, 83 degrees. Winds out of the south at 12. Dew point temperatures creeping up. Not too oppressive yet, but they'll continue to creep up tonight into tomorrow. It's 83 in Huntington and Lewistown, 81 in Dubois, 80 in Johnstown. Our 24-hour temperature change were a little bit warmer than this time yesterday. So not much going on right now. A plume of moisture off to our west will give us a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms like what you saw in Michigan and parts of Ohio and Indiana. That's coming our way for tomorrow. It's not going to be a lot of rainfall, but there's going to be scattered precipitation around. Future Track HD hints at a stray shower for tonight into tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, warm, humid, a little more in the way of clouds, shower, or thunderstorm in some spots. Some of you will have a hefty amount of rainfall with a thunderstorm. Other spots are going to be missed, and that's what we're going to have a random pattern of showers and thunderstorms, not just tomorrow, but again during the day on Wednesday. Eventually, this front, it's not going to bring cooling, but it is going to bring a reduction in humidity later in the week. All right, for tonight, partly cloudy, a bit muggy. Low temperatures are going to be in the 60s during the day for tomorrow. Warm and humid, a mix of clouds and hazy sunshine, a shower, a thunderstorm in some locations. Down into only the middle 60s for a low tomorrow night. Still humid with scattered showers and thunderstorms on Wednesday. Maybe a shower or thunderstorm on Thursday, depending on how fast that front moves through. Driest day right now looks like Friday, and then some showers and thunderstorms return over the weekend. We're going to watch that because, yes, it's our miracle celebration on Sunday. We'll be live at Del Grosso Park between noon and 6, celebrating the Children's Miracle Network miracles, and then some showers and thunderstorms also scattered about on Monday. So a summer-like pattern. It looks wet, but it's going to be a random amount of precipitation. All right, Morgan and Beth want to know what's the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane. I'll let you know coming up.